Hey, no, you're, you're lucky. You're getting a two for two for one. <laughs> but anyway, what I was saying before I got rudely interrupted with the end of that movie. There, let's start the bottle of timer. But maybe, maybe I haven't answered all them questions 300 times, but uh, in all them videos, man, I'd, I'd answer every one of your questions. Uh, it looks like you're uh, going up through the movies and a lot of the, I, I, I've seen you doing that and I just kind of figured that you would find your answer. <laughs> if you... If you just kept on going to the next video there, buddy. But, uh... Let's see, what was... Oh! Where do I get our plans? Our, this is our plans right here. <laughs> okay? This is it. And, uh... Butch... You can buy... He... he he programmed some, and you can buy some. Okay, Butch, why don't you put in the comments where they can go buy some of these CNC programs. I've had some people asking me if you can buy some of these CNC programs. And yeah, I, I think a lot of airplanes out there you can. Uh, but like the B-1, there was none. How, we got to, how Butch got the B-1 on his computer... Okay, on his program, he took it and cut this. You know, you figure out how big you want your model and uh, how far you want your bulkheads apart. Okay, say if I wanted it four times bigger than this, one inch would be four inches on our on our big plane. One inch here to four inches. Okay, so we want to bulkhead every four inches apart. So we come to our model, we cut every inch. Okay, you take this, put it on a piece of paper, trace it, scan it onto your computer, blow it up four times, bam, you got a bulkhead. You could even like draw your center lines on here and here, cut it, and then mark your center lines on your paper. When you blow it up, bam, you got your center lines on there. Uh, that's how you can get your bulkheads to make your own plug. But, uh, there is a place where you can just buy a lot of airplane programs already drawn up on CAD. Uh, I don't know how much they cost. I don't. Uh, I know Butch just told me one time you can't, that it was available. So that's all I know about it. Maybe we can get Butch to put in the responses there the name of the company. Okay, what was another one of them questions? I'm trying to remember them, people. I need to write them down. I try to answer them, I really do. I don't want you to feel like you guys can't answer a question because I won't answer it. Uh, I really do. Except for, where's the P1? I quit answering them altogether. <laughs> Believe me, people. I want that B1 flying bad. It's going to happen. You wait. It's going to happen. But uh, I actually glued this piece on a while ago. And it was wrong. It wasn't at this right angle. Here you see this and this. I, I glued it on there and I even clamped it. And I sat it down and was doing something. But it moved. It was way off, man. Oh, I couldn't leave it. Took a razor blade, tried to get under it. I used epoxy to glue it on and uh, couldn't get it off. Couldn't leave it. Do you know what I did? I took my hammer and I just decided, well, I guess I'll have to build a new one. You know, spend another day building a new one, getting it primed and sealed and all that. I just figured I, I couldn't get it off. I took my hammer and I just went wham and I hit it 
popped right off clean. Didn't even put a mark on it. Couldn't believe it. I figured it would just shatter because it's just a hunk of wood, you know. I figured it splinter. But when I hit it, I hit it down like this. And it popped right off. I couldn't believe it. I said, score. That was my lucky day. But, uh, that's about all I got there. Okay. Oh, and how about that John Force yesterday? 15. You know, he was lining up after that old boy lost the race. You know, the points leader, Matt Hagen. He kind of didn't take that very well. But he lost first round. But, you know, his, he, he lost. You know, he didn't red light. You know, he just lost. And that's drag racing. Wasn't as fast as the other guy. Then John Force got up there, and you know, when I was... When I was looking at that man's face, you know, when he was going up to the lights and they had his, his car open, he just looked down at his face and thought, that man's a champion, man. You know, just he just had that look. I mean, he was staging. I just knew it right then and there. First round, smoked that guy. Perfect run. That car was on fire down that track. Second time he came up to the light, I just knew it right then. I said, that's it. That man's a champion, man. You ain't gonna take that from John Force. And uh, sure enough, that was some good old fashioned drag racing though. Sure was, that Matt ha Hogan, Matt Hagen, Hogan, he didn't take that very well. But you know, that's how it goes. You know, his fate was in his own hands. You know, no one took it from him. It wasn't nothing crazy, you know, like a red light or a questionable call. He just flat lost the race. He was doing good. It looks like his motor just quit, blew up right before the finish line. <laughs> oh, he was bad at jaw force. He was just, he knew right then he was the champion. Just had to win two rounds. But enough about that. Get back to some Thunder Chief building action. I got all that done. I got all this tape off, but this little bit. And we got my little tool here I made for that. See, that's just a straight pin taped on a pencil. Actually, works fantastically. Better than an exacto. Exacto wanted to dig into the edges too much. You know. But uh I think I'm just gonna be just a little bit short on that eighth inch wood. It's it's only eleven dollars a sheet, but it's the fact that I'm gonna have a big old hunk of it left over for a long time. Yeah, I think I'm getting a cold the past few days. I've been getting the sniffles and... Dad came over this morning. He's been kind of sick. He's just getting better. Been cold and rainy here. Cold and rainy. It's pretty much like that all over the country today. Well. this finished up and get that primed in and tomorrow we're going to start on some panels or some parting planes and uh, I got my canopy the one's done so just uh, these here and we're going to mold up some parts this week so tune in I'll make a bunch of videos now that we got these boring ones out the way
and we'll see you back in the 